and welcome to the future. My name is Chris Kalibukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button, hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note in Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Like I said before, we are talking innovation startups and the future, but nobody is talking about anything else but AI. AI is the only important thing. Try talking about crypto. Try talking about the metaverse. Try talking about VR, AR. Try talking about anything else and nobody seems to care. Nobody seems to care about anything but AI. And I hate to burst your bubble, but if we're talking innovation, if we want to talk about innovation, then we shouldn't be talking about AI. Because AI is not innovative. You're probably saying to yourself, what the hell are you talking about, Chris? Of course AI is innovative. Generative AI is the most innovative thing that's ever happened in the last little while. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. I beg to differ. Is it innovative? Is it innovative? You have to think to yourself, what exactly is generative AI? Generative AI is a large language model. What is a large language model? A large language model is when they've taken all sorts, basically they've ingested tons of public data out there on the internet. Tons and tons of communications that human beings have already made. We've said these things. There's billions of human beings contributing to the corpus of data on the internet. And what's happened is that generative AI, like ChatGPT, like OpenAI, like all of these different tools out there, like BARD, they've all taken this content that we've already created. We've already created and we've already put it out there. It already exists. And what these large language models are doing is they're taking our queries and they're submitting it into this database and pulling out parts of it to recombine them into something that appears to be new appears to be different, appears to be something innovative and new. But the reality is, it's not new. What's coming out of generative AI is nothing new. It's regurgitation of things that have already happened before. Now, some of you might say, well, all innovation is regurgitation. All innovation is people standing on the shoulders of giants, right? It's basically just Nobody, nobody's actually done anything in, in uh, themselves. It's all built on somebody else. It's all built on something someone else has built. And that is true to a degree. But if you ask me, all innovation comes from a single individual mind. It doesn't matter that you're in an organization. It doesn't matter that you're in a group. It doesn't matter that you might be brainstorming in a group. Innovation comes from a single mind within that group, and you may use inputs from other minds to generate your innovation. But the input, but the output is from a single mind, and that might be modified by other minds around you. You might throw out an idea, and other minds around you might modify that idea. But the innovation comes from the spark of a single mind, a single human mind. And if that's the criteria for innovation, then if you ask me, AI cannot be innovated. Large language models cannot be innovative. They cannot create anything new. They can throw things together, random things together that they, it believes go together to create something that sounds interesting, sounds new, sounds innovative. But it really isn't because the innovation has to come from within a human mind. So if you ask me, even though everyone's freaking about, out about generative AI and thinking that generative AI is the latest, greatest innovation that's out there, if you ask me, it isn't innovative at all. It's a great tool to help you to innovate. It can expose things to you to allow you to innovate. But as something that's innovative in and of itself, I don't believe that it is. 
The innovation comes from within human minds. We can leverage AI, we can leverage large language models to help spark innovation in our brains. But I've used it for long enough now. I've used it since, I've used the generative, uh, generative AI since ChatGP3, GD3 came out and was in public use since last, what is it, November, September. And I found that it's wanting. If you really are trying to truly innovate and create brand new things, it can't do it for you. It's just not able to. It can take all sorts of things that are already out there and put them together in other ways, but can it put them together in a new, innovative way? No, it cannot. It cannot. Just ask it for, let's say you wanted it to innovate. Let's say you wanted it to create some new use cases for your business. So think about your business and ask ChatGPT. Go to ChatGPT right now and say, can you give me five new use cases for my industry? And I would not, I will bet you anything that each and every one of those use cases is pretty standard stuff. Anybody could have thought of them. Stuff that's already out there. Ask it to do something new and different and out of the box. It can't. Because if you think about it, it is the box. We are literally asking the box to get out of itself. And it can't. The only thing that can get out of the box is our human brains. So all of you out there who are freaking out about generative AI and thinking that it's going to out-innovate you, don't worry about it so much. I don't think generative AI is at the point right now, and maybe at some point in the future, but at the point right now, for where I see it now, it is really found wanting when it comes to innovate, innovative new ideas. It can help you innovate, but being innovative, being truly creative, being able to create brand new things out of the blue, that's still our minds doing. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.